looking for birds down south. Look right there. This is one of the rarest raptors in the world. Wow. And we'll meet another type of bird with a real mean streak. He's very upset to find another male. <laughs> Look at that display. Yeah. All puffed up. I'm Alize Carrere, an environmental anthropologist and National Geographic explorer. This is my friend Tom Ritchie, a naturalist who spent decades in the field. Together, we'll discover what it means to be a modern explorer. Today, we're going on an expedition to the Falkland Islands, an archipelago about 300 miles east of the South American mainland. This is very interesting. This is a Falklands Island thrush that's found his own reflection in a mirror, the side mirror on this Land Rover, and he's very upset to find another male. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to drive him away. Look at that display, yeah. all puffed up. Yeah. It's not working. He's <laughs> fighting back, whoever it is. <laughs> Down the beach, you can find Gentoo penguins. They are the third largest species of penguin in the world. Maxing out at just under three feet tall, they often congregate on this beach after a long day hunting in the icy waters. The Falkland Islands are home to the world's largest population of Gentoo penguin breeding pairs. More than 100,000 pairs nest here. They walk to their nesting site nearly a mile from the shore, where they can build simple nests out of rocks, grass, sticks, and whatever else they can find. But it's not just penguins that call this island home. The Falkland Islands are filled with birds. It's hard to even keep track of what's here. More than 200 species have been spotted on the archipelago. Bird life thrives here because of the archipelago's isolation, the surrounding nutrient-rich ocean waters, an abundance of delicious local insects, and few predators who might make a meal of the bird's young. You know, it's, it's interesting to just sit here in one spot and watch the wildlife. So people come here to see the birds, the wildlife, are there any other larger animals around here? Not really, there are no native land mammals. Mm. There was one at one time when the first colonists got here, there was a, they call it the Falkland Islands wolf. The Falkland Islands wolf was hunted to extinction for its fur. The last of its kind was killed off by humans in the 1870s. With its absence, some of the top predators on the islands are now birds. Yeah. And what kinds of things do we usually see out here? Well, look right there. This is one of the rarest raptors in the world. That's the striated caracara. Wow. And this is the guy that, if you give them a chance, they'll you know, steal your gloves. Or I've even seen them take hats right off somebody's head. They're mostly drawn to red clothing. And given the opportunity, they'll try to pilfer anything with a rosy hue. That might be because they're scavengers and they associate the color red with fresh meat. The animals here are more comfortable around humans because we don't pose a threat. They don't worry about being hunted or chased off because the economy of the Falkland Islands depends on ecotourism, which is why Tom and I can get an up-close look. Our tools are different, our technology is different, and the landscape is changing. Exploring means something very different from the past. But there will always be room to observe and protect the wonder of our world. And that's what makes a modern explorer.